Chris Orsini here, and in this video, I'd like to walk you through how to do a CSV import in Command. So we're first going to head over to Contacts, and then click Import, and we need to download the CSV import template. I've already downloaded it to save us some time, and I've also downloaded a test CSV from my Google Contacts. Um, now, side note, a lot of people have um, asked about the eEdge connection um, and syncing your contacts from eEdge to command. Um, while that is possible, it doesn't always bring over everything uh, completely or accurately. So I do recommend taking the extra time to download the CSV from eEdge and then doing this CSV import with uh, uh, in contact. So I've already downloaded them and you'll see I've got my Google contacts here and then I have the CSV uh, template here. Now, if I just upload this directly into command, it's gonna kick back and say it doesn't recognize it. So um, just a cool little trick is you can, uh, on PC, you can drag this to the side uh, of the screen and it's going to half full screen it. And then you can choose the other one and it will full screen it on the other half of the screen. Uh, on Mac, you can hold down uh, the, uh, the full screen button and it will give you that option as well. So all we're going to do is uh, copy the data from the column in the columns in the uh, test account or in the Google CSV and then transfer those over to uh, the command CSV template. Um, now just one note if I click the whole column and omit the, the header, and just copy and paste, it will kick back this error. Um, so your best bet is to click on the first uh, name in the column, scroll down, click, hold shift, and then click on the last one, and it will just highlight those. You can then copy and then paste, and it will paste just fine. Of course, I only have one name in this, um, but you'll see Certain things are different, like in Google, they use the terms given name and family name rather than first name or last name. So we're going to have to just put those in the appropriate columns. Now, say if you're not using the middle name column, you need to still keep it there or Google will not recognize, sorry, command will not recognize this import. Uh, another thing to look out for, the Google Plus column here has been giving some trouble. So this column you do want to delete. Uh, and um, it shouldn't be a problem because uh, Google Plus doesn't exist anymore. Um, so you want to go through this and input all this data, just copy and pasting it into the appropriate columns. Um, so here you see I have birthday. I would put that in birthdays. There's notes. Now there's groups. I can then you know copy this and put this over into custom tags. Now uh, some notes about custom tags over here. Um, you can put as many as you'd want separated by um, a, a comma. So if I wanted to put it in, say, 722 roster, and then say this is a test, it's uh, it will tag it with both 722 roster and test. test um, and it's going to create any of the tags that aren't already there. Um, and just with these the basic uh, teal border and white uh, tag color. Uh, you can then go into custom tags and change that color in the future if you'd like. Um, we would pull over, let's see, email address over here. We'll try and just do this real quick. Email. Uh, we have phone number. Mobile phone. Now there has been an error lately where it's been saying something about uh, it couldn't recognize the numbers after the plus sign. Um, and I had that the other day and I went through, found no plus signs. So all I did was just went and added a one in the country code and then everything imported properly. Um, we then have the address. Street address. City. 
be in the wrong location. I'm sure this isn't thrilling to watch, but just wanted to go through it in completion with you. Um, and then we have our department would be where they work, the title, of course. And then I think the last field that I didn't pull over was we have birthdays. Now there's a lot of these that are pretty squished, so you can always hit control F and do a search. So there we go, there's birthday hiding behind Keller Williams Realty Services. Paste that, and then we have there is a note. So and notes are right here. So once I've completed this, you want to click save or command S for save. And now we're going to go back into command. We do import. We're going to click this to browse that file. Um, I have it here. We're going to import contacts. You can see right away. Now keep in mind if you do have thousands of contacts in this file, it's going to take a little longer to import. Um, let's refresh because this should be pretty quick. Now you see up at the notifications icon, uh, it's going to tell me that I had that all of my imports uh, have been uploaded successfully. Now, if you do have any that uh, kick back with an error, um, you can download the error report, which is fantastic. And what you can do is then uh, there will be the first column will now be all the errors and you can go through and correct any of the errors and then delete that column that errors column and then re upload it uh, back into command just in that same spreadsheet which I think is fantastic and then we're gonna go we're gonna find test you'll see it tagged as I asked it to and what's great is if you have an address in there it's going to add the neighborhood. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, uh, comment on this, uh, go give me a follow on KW Connect, subscribe on YouTube, or check me out on Facebook at Chris Orsini, KW Tech Trainer, um, for more command content. Thank you.